are these farmer protests different from the one we saw nearly three years ago? We were all jolted awake to these visuals. Nails, barbed wire and concrete barricades blocking the roads, preventing the farmers that were coming out of Punjab from entering the capital city. And when they rolled into Haryana, they were met with tear gas, not once, but twice. We all felt like we've seen this before. This happened not long ago when farmers came to the capital city of Delhi and camped at Delhi's borders for months on end, demanding that the government roll back the farm laws, which the government eventually did. How is this different and why is it happening again? Well, there are three main reasons. First of all, the demands are different. Now, along with the three farm laws, last time the farmers had a series of demands that they were promised the government would look into, but it didn't. Now, those include MSP or minimum support price for all farm products or including a, a calculation that was actually introduced by the MS Swaminathan Committee report on how to calculate that minimum support price. Incidentally, the government has decided to give Mr. Swaminathan a Bharat Ratna and honor his work but really his committee report is not being implemented. Apart from that, there were other demands that they're making. Uh, they're asking, for example, for full farm loan waivers uh, for all laborers and for farmers, that the changes made to the Electricity Act be rolled back, that the Land Acquisition Act actually be brought into place and farmers given more of a say and consent into the acquisition of their land, that India actually withdraw from free trade agreements that they have across the world and several other of such demands that they're making as a list of 10 demands. They're also right now at this point coming in with different leadership from the leadership we saw in the previous protest. Remember, Rakesh Tikhayat was one of the leaders. This is not the same organization that is leading these protests, a different set of organizations. To take you through it, there's the Kisan Mazdoor Morcha that's leading 250 farmer unions and the Samyukta Kisan Morcha non-political that has another 150 unions. This is different from the Bharatiya Kisan Union and the Samyukta Kisan Mocha from last time. So the leadership is different. But really for me, the big difference here is the response of the central government. There are a couple of things that are different. For one, the central government is not as phased as this time as they were last time. Last time, these the protests happened right around the UP elections. This was really important. The, the government was trying a lot to sort of manage the situation. This time, this government seems a little more calm about what it's expecting in the election to come up. Particularly, they're seeing that this sort of protest is coming largely out of Punjab, a state that doesn't vote BJP anyway. So they're not really that concerned. They are concerned that it might spread to the Jat vote coming out of Haryana. And for that, they have the Jain Chaudhary led uh, Rashtra Lokdal that's already in alliance with it. So they're hoping that that, and apart from the fact that they have chosen to give a Bharat Ratna to Chaudhary Charan Singh, um, you know, will actually help them manage the Jat vote a little better. Secondly, the central government this time coming to the table to negotiate right on get go. We understand two union ministers have already had two conversations and the third one is likely to happen tonight. Thirdly, administrations in Haryana were already ready with their barbed wire and their nails and their barricades waiting for the farmers to come. They are letting them nowhere near Delhi. Delhi is completely closed off from all sides and they are making sure that the same thing as last time does not get repeated. Also, for many of these farm leaders, even when they were in discussions with the union ministers, their Twitter handles and their social media handles were blocked and taken down. And so they are preventing them from also calling for sort of more support from the villages. This is what happened last time as well. Uh, also, we understand from a source-based report in the Indian Express that the uh, Shirmani Akali Dal or the SAD that was in an alliance with the BJP the last time, then walked away during the farm protests, is actually in talks to re-enter that alliance for the Lok Sabha polls. So uh, again, the BJP confident that maybe they will be able to have that conversation with these farmers through the SAD. The SAD, after they walked away from the alliance last time, quite poorly in the state election. So this time, it seems unlikely that they will lend their sort of political clout to these farmer protests. So this is why these protests are different. The demands are a larger list compared to last time. Uh, the leadership of the protests is different. It does seem at this point to be localized to the state of Punjab and the central government seems more calm and more prepared in its handling of the protest.